buds, come along with me to the Garden of Growing, where we always have fun and we grow by knowing. Let's go! There you are. Welcome back to the Garden of Growing. It's so great to see you again. We are so excited to spend another day with you here in the garden. I'm going to go ahead and take my gardening gloves off and let's take a look in my garden pail to see what we're going to learn about today in the garden. Ooh, I have a dress up skirt. What color is this? Yellow and black. Very good, buds. Let's see if Blossom and Bloom have an idea what that could be. What do you think we might be learning about today that would be black and yellow with stripes? Bees! That's right, buds. Great work. Bees are so important to the garden and they really depend on flowers for survival. And flowers also depend on bees for their survival. So bees are so important to blossom and bloom so that flowers can grow all around us and the bees can continue to help with making our gardens grow bigger and better, doing something called pollination. Bees help bring different things from flowers to other flowers and all around the garden and to flowering plants to help them grow. Also, bees eat something called nectar. It's a sugary fluid that gives bees lots of energy to do the hard work that they're doing. They also use pollen to help feed their babies as they're getting ready to grow. And bees do a lot of really cool things. Not only do they help things grow around us, they also make some sugary sweet thing that we like to eat and put into things and make things out of called, you guessed it, Blossom and Bloom, honey. So bees do so many important things for us. They can be a little bit scary because one of the things they do to protect themselves is to sting any potential enemies. Another thing they do to protect themselves is to build their hives, that's their houses, we call them hives, in a safe place out of the way so people and animals can't find them. So bees are so important and stinging does hurt and it can be very dangerous if you get stung by a bee, only if you're allergic to a bee sting. But that's why people like to stay away from bees and let them do their own thing and admire them from afar. Bees are so important to the garden and to us to keep things growing all around us. So it's important that we treat the bees nicely, just like we would like to be treated too. Blossom and Bloom, you want to go hang out in the garden again? All right, we'll see you later. We're gonna put them back by Lady over here and Cat, and we're gonna let them play while we learn a little bit more about these yellow and black bees that we are so dependent on. So bees are insects. So just like um, some of the other insects that we've learned about so far, they have a head, they have their antenna, they have a thorax, they have an abdomen, and they have some wings to get them around from plant to plant and place to place. Um, they also have some short hair on their bodies, and that's where you see that yellow and black coloring from. They have these comb-like things on their legs. They have six legs, just like a butterfly. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good counting, buds. So they have six legs, and on some of their legs, they have these comb-like things that help them to clean their antenna and their feet as they're going about the garden to do the hard work that they're doing. And again, they also make us honey, which I love to try. Honey's so sweet, but I don't like to eat too much of it because we don't want to get too much sugar, right? You got it, buds. Excellent. There are lots of different species of bees. There are bumblebees, there are honeybees, and then there's something that's like a bee called a wasp. They're a little bit different, but 
pretty similar as well. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what else is in my garden pail so we can learn more about these important bees. I see some crayons. I see some plates. If you don't have paper plates, you can always just use paper if you have that available. I see my sticker scene sheet and my garden scene. I see some tape. I see some scissors. Remember, if we're using scissors, we often want to get an adult's help so that we don't hurt ourselves. So I'm going to start using my plate. It's a big circle. I'm going to cut it in half to start to make some bumblebee wings. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. So my two little halves should look something like this. That's called quarters when we cut something into four pieces. It's each one quarter and three quarters and then four quarters. So it goes one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarter would be a whole. So I'm going to take these two pieces. They're going to be my bumblebee wings. So I'm going to take my scotch tape and just tape it together like that to make some bumblebee wings. If you'd like to use glue instead, you can use some glue or you can just use tape just like me. And if you don't have these materials, you can make your bumblebee out of whatever it is that you have available. Now, out of the other half of my plate, I'm going to cut it into two quarters again. So I have two pieces just like the wings again. But this time, I'm going to make some circles. So I'm going to make a little circle for my bumblebee head. And I'm going to make a bigger circle for my bumblebee body. So that's going to be my bumblebee's head, the little circle. And I'm actually going to make more like an oval for the bumblebee's body. So that's an oval for my bumblebee's body. Now on my bumblebee's body, I'm going to make some black and yellow stripes to make it look more like my bumblebee colors. So I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow and we're going to make what's called a pattern. Yellow, then black, then yellow, then black. And I'm just going to continue the pattern until I color the entire bumblebee body. And remember, that's the bumblebee's hair that helps protect that bumblebee's body. So I have yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. That's my pattern. Very good, buds. So I'm going to go ahead and tape my bumblebee's body right onto my bumblebee wings. Then we're going to get ready to work on his head. So there's my bumblebee body and my big bumblebee wings. And now I'm going to take my small circle and get ready to color that black for the bumblebee head. If you want to make some eyes on your bumblebee, you can. I'm going to make this without eyes today just because I want to color it all black to make it look really nice. So I'm going to color in my circle, make it nice and black. And then I'm going to tape that round circle on the top of the bumblebee's body. So right now, it should look something like that. And then I'm going to take the remaining pieces of my plate and I'm going to make some antennas for my bumblebee. Remember what those do, they come out near the head and they help our bees and other insects find their way through the garden so they can get to where they need to go to do all of the hard work that they're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and take my bumblebee and I'm going to make some little antennas. And you can make them long, you can make them narrow or thick, whatever you'd like. And I'm going to color them black as well to match my bumblebee's head. So I have some really big bumblebee wings. I have my bumblebee antennas. I have my bumblebee head and my bumblebee body. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and tape my antennas to my bumblebee's head so he can feel his way all throughout the garden. And he can buzz, buzz, buzz around and do all the hard work that he needs to do to keep our flowering plants growing and to make that delicious honey that we all like to eat and put into all sorts of different things. Bumblebees are so very important. There they are. So remember, when you see a bee buzzing around, you want to treat it nicely and be careful it doesn't sting you. We've got to be very careful, especially if we know that we might be allergic to a bumblebee sting because that can be very dangerous. Otherwise, bees aren't really trying to hurt us. They're just trying to do their job, pollinating the flowers around us and plants and making us some honey and taking care of their little bumblebee babies. That's all. So make sure that you treat them nicely, just like you would like to be treated too. I'm going to put this bumblebee down and I'm going to go ahead and get out my sticker scene. And I think I'm going to get some of the bumblebee stickers. They look just like that. You see that bee has antennas and wings and a black and yellow pattern, just like the one we made. And I'm going to put them in the garden, flying around the garden with some of the snails that are creeping along the garden floor and the ladybugs that are flying around and the worms that are underground. I'm going to make a little flower scene because the bees want those flowers so they can get their nectar and their pollen for their baby bees. The nectar is what gives them their energy to do all of the hard work that they're doing, creating their honey and flying so far all around to pollinate all the different flowers and flowering plants that we need them to help us with so that they can continue to grow. Bees are so important and there are so many important things throughout the garden that help each other out. So we have to remember that we also have to help each other out and it's important that we take care of all the things around us, even the things that might scare us just a little bit, right? So there's my bumblebees flying in the garden and some flowers and then you've got the worms and the snails and the ladybugs all happily doing their own jobs to keep the garden growing so beautifully with all of our plants and our flowers and our vegetables and our fruits, all those wonderful things that we can grow. Once again, buds, it's always such a great time to see you in the garden, to have you here learning with us. Make sure you take pictures of all the work you're doing at home and send it to our website, boogiebugbunch.com, or our Instagram or Facebook pages. We love to see everything that you're creating, and we love to put it in our garden gallery on our website so you can take a look at what other people have been working on as well. We also like to post it on our Instagram page, so check us out and remember to friend us if you haven't done so already. Now, remember, when you leave the garden, put on your looking glasses. Let's see what color I have today to put on. I have my green looking glasses. So remember, when you leave the garden, take a look around you and maybe you'll see some bees buzzing around, going from flower to flower, doing the hard work that they do. Now you know why they're so important to us. We really need them to help us keep things growing. So it's important that we take good care of the bees and we respect them and let them do their jobs. And take a look around and see what other things you might see in the garden. Maybe like my garden scene today, maybe you'll see some worms or some snails or some ladybugs, maybe some beautiful butterflies or some hardworking bumblebees. Take a look and tell us what you see. And remember, no matter what bud you are or what bud you see, you can grow to be any kind of bud that you'd like to be. See you real soon. Bye.